There's more to the story. New video tonight showing how things got ugly at the football game between Almont and Detroit Denby. What happened at the end of that game even had the NAACP weighing in alleging racist behavior. And now this new video has caught the eye of the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, which has been investigating, and it's painting a different picture. Larry Spruill is live tonight with the new video and what the Sheriff's Office is saying about it. Larry? Jason and Karen, there is, there is some confusion on whether or not charges will be filed or if charges should be filed in this case. But take a look at this video. It shows the aftermath of that very intense game. Now the school districts and the sheriff's office are responding. What was supposed to be a competitive yet friendly competition ended with tempers and people spitting on one another. This new video shows the aftermath of the Denby versus Almont's football game. And now Local 4 learned Oakland County Sheriff investigators are looking into the fight. They are investigating four incidents, three out of the four, recorded on video. We're talking about two alleged spittings by a Denby player and a fan at the fence line, a deputy that was assaulted pushed by a Denby player, and a Denby player that allegedly pushed assaulted a band member. Deputies tell Local 4 there is a fifth allegation that a soda can was thrown by a fan and hit a Denby player. I reached out to the Detroit Public School Superintendent Nikolai Vitti. He sent me this statement. It says in part, it is disappointing that high school black student athletes would be blamed for the reaction to racist hate spitting, racial slurs and objects being thrown at them. It is irresponsible to identify blocks in the back and football penalties as the cause of the unrest that occurred after the game. Now the sheriff's office says they have over 40 statements from players who were on the Denton football team talking about what happened during the game and after the game. Meanwhile, this case is far from over. We have the full statement from the school district on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul. Local four. Larry, how much uh, longer do you think they'll have this all wrapped up the sheriff's office? Well, Jason, the sheriff's office tells me that it would be at least another two weeks before this case or before the investigation is done. Jason. Yeah, absolutely. Just a touchy subject and both fan bases very, very involved in this. All right, Larry, thanks.